Hi, I'm going to talk about uh, what is segmented regression and when it is used. So segmented regression is about fitting uh, two or more regression models to uh, a data set. Although it is called segmented regression, but uh, other modeling techniques can also be used similarly. Right? You can also have more than two time series models to fit a given data set. Right? So the idea is to fit more than one model to the data set because the data set behave differently in the different part of the data set or different segment of the data set. So have multiple models instead of just one model fitting the entire data set because the pattern may be different. Right? There are some advantages of advantages of it and some disadvantages of it. We will talk about that. And in some situation, we may have to develop multiple models to fit a given data set. Right? Uh, so as the name suggests, it's a, a, a technique in which we will need to find out segments in the data set. And then we will fit uh, the model to the given segment. Right? It can be linear regression. It can be other sort of uh, modeling techniques also. In time series also, it is also used. A segmentation involves identifying key points uh, or breakpoints, sorry, not key points, breakpoints. So breakpoints are where you see that, okay, here the model will have to be very different, right? So you can have more than one breakpoint also. If there is one breakpoint, then there will be two models. If there are two breakpoints, then there will be three models. So if there are n number of breakpoints, there will be n plus one models. It can be done manually. You can find out uh, based on uh, you know, visualization, just visually see the data and where you see a different segment, uh, you, you can fit, uh, you, you can find out the breakpoint, but it can be automated also. We'll see an example that will be more clear. Theory may be a bit confusing, right? And can, you know, the models can be simple linear regression uh, or it can be more complex regression models, also the time series models. Now the motivation is that the pattern may be different at different section of the data set and hence let's uh, fit different models. Now there are other regression models also which are similar. For example, the piecewise regression model, which is also a bit similar. Um, so the theory is related to the piecewise linear regression. Uh, and remember that there is no limit to how many segments you can have, but the more number of segments you have in a data set, uh, chances of uh, model being overfit is more. Hence, uh, there has to be a balance, right? It cannot have this too many segments in the data set for modeling. Now, here is this example where, you know, uh, you have one regression model for uh, X, you know, X is the independent variable, uh, less than a given breakpoint. Okay, that means that's a threshold. And anything above that, you have another model, okay, second model, right? It's, it's uh, very similar to fitting two regression models, but you can do it at once. So that's one advantage with segmented regression. Here is this example. You see that you have data for Y and X. It seems that there is non-linearity in this data. If you fit a linear regression model, well, it will fit. However, it may not be a best fit. If you use segmented regression, then the fit will be better. You see that for the first part of the data, there is a straight line which is parallel, somewhat parallel to the x-axis, whereas uh, after a while, after x is four and a half, you see a downward sloping uh, regression line. Right? So there can be multiple uh, regression lines fitted to this model. And here we have fitted, let's say, two regression lines. Similarly, how you get confidence interval for a regression model, you can also get it uh, for segmented regression model, and you can have different confidence interval for the different uh, in different models that you fit to different section of the data. Okay, so the idea is that to capture the non-linearity, this is one way. Right? You can also have a dummy, and there are other ways of doing it, but this is also a way to do it. Uh, we'll take an example. Let's say you have a data set of annual cells for a period of 10 years and you want to uh, you want to fit a regression line or 
uh, or you want to fit a cell strain, for example, friend of the cells over just 10 years. But there is an introduction of a product after five years. And you would like to know how the pattern looks like before the introduction of the given product and after the introduction of the given product. So you will then fit two models, right? One from first year to uh, fifth year and then second from fifth year to the tenth year, right? And uh, here you see, right? If you fit the model for the first five years, could be the first uh, time series model. The second time series model can be fitted after the fifth year to tenth year data, right? And then your understanding of the pattern will be more clear. If you just fit one line without taking into consideration the 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 breakpoint, which is the introduction of a new product, then you will not get that granular level of insight about the uh, sales data, right? So that is a good thing. There are many pros of using this model. It allows for detection of, you know, breakpoints. Uh, so you like to understand things at a very deeper level. So there is more granularity. Um, it, it provides a very flexible way of modeling non-linear relationship between variables and you saw that in the example there is indeed non-linear relationship um, and it can also be used to uh, estimate the magnitude and direction of the change of the relationship between variables that means uh, maybe for the first part of the data the variable the independent variables in one way and for the second part it may behave completely different way now that change will not reflect if you simply you know fit a linear line Right, uh, so that transition from one type of relation to the other type of relations, uh, relationship, you will get to know if you segment it properly. Well, there are other ways to do it also. You may not have to use sometimes the segmented model. You can, uh, you know, build segments and separately model them instead of just doing it in one go. So that is uh, also a way, but this would save some time. And in some places, you know, you do not have the luxury of. Uh, explicitly segmenting your data and fitting models. Uh, so that is not an option in some places here. So segmented regression is very helpful there. Uh, yeah, it is, um, it can be interpreted very uh, easily actually. So uh, compared to more complex non-linear regression models, you can easily interpret the uh, segmented regression models and therefore it is also a good thing. There are however number of issues or number of cons of using segmented regression models um, because sometimes this may result in overfitting. If you are using too many segments, then chances of overfitting is more. Prediction accuracy would be quite okay. You will understand uh, the relationship very well, but if you are overdoing it, as in you are having a number of just too many uh, segments, then chances of overfitting is more. Uh, also, there is another issue is that uh, it, the technique assumes that you are easily able to find out the breakpoint. That is always not always the case, right? In many cases, you will have tough time finding out the breakpoints. Even though the pattern shows that uh, there are some clear breakpoints, defining it is, is a challenge sometimes. Uh, sometimes you can automate that through algorithms, different algorithms. Uh, in most software, you have it. But that's also not foolproof and that could uh, result in erroneous result. Uh, and it may not, it's not suitable for small data sets. If you have a very large data sets, uh, there you can use segment uh, segmented regression, but not in small data sets where, uh, you know, it could lead to overfitting. And it, it is also uh, sensitive to uh, how many uh, like what software you use. Like in some software, the way the algorithm used to find out this, uh, the breakpoint could be slightly different from the other and that would give you uh, misleading, misleading results, right? So replicating the same result uh, may be a bit difficult sometimes. So the conclusion is that you can use segmented regression if you, you see that the pattern in your data set is differing across different segment. And one, uh, regression model will not do the justice. You really need to fit different regression model to different segment of the data set. If there is a presence of non-linearity, there also you can 
uh, use segmented regression models. And this technique can be replicated to other modeling techniques also. May not be just linear regression, it can also be used in logistic regression, uh, you know, a time series model, even such technique can be extended to machine learning models such as a random forest, uh, SVA, the software vector machine and you know all kinds of other models. You can also use such segmented sort of uh, uh, modeling technique and you can best you know and but make sure that you know you test your model performance very well because uh, chances of overfit uh, is, is quite quite high in such models. Thanks, see you in the next video.